डॉक्टर सौंडलता सराफ प्रोफेसर यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी पंडित रविशंकर सुक्त यूनिवर्सिटी रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ इंडिया टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट द फेस पाउडर एंड मेकअप मॉड्यूल वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू फेस पाउडर्स एंड मेकअप प्रिपरेशन मॉड्यूल टू फेस पाउडर्स मॉड्यूल थ्री कॉम्पैक्ट पाउडर मॉड्यूल फोर केक मेकअप मॉड्यूल फाइव मेकअप क्रीम्स मॉड्यूल सिक्स कंक्लूजन मॉड्यूल वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू फेस पाउडर एंड मेकअप प्रिपरेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट टू फेस पाउडर एंड मेकअप फेशियल पाउडर मेकअप प्रोडक्ट इंक्लूडिंग फेशियल फाउंडेशन कंजीलर एंड ब्लश आर अवेलेबल एज लूज पाउडर एंड कॉम्पैक्ट पाउडर दीज प्रोडक्ट आर आइडेंटिकल टू पाउडर आई शेडोज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ingredients types and formulation technology liquid foundations have largely replaced facial powders however for those who wish sheer coverage with excellent oil control facial powders perform excellently they may also be used over a liquid foundation to provide a professional finish face powders provide coverage of complexion imperfection oil control a matte finish and tactile smoothness to the skin powders give a good lasting effect to foundation makeup and possess oil absorbing properties that are very useful for oily skin types free powders are used to fix the foundation and compact powders to retouch one's face during day face powder is more complicated and made by a mixture of product talc and sericite to help to spread chalk or kaolin to give moisture absorbing qualities magnesium stearate gives adherence zinc oxide and titanium oxide to help cover the skin thoroughly and pigments for color the use of mica in powder formulations improve skin feel product application and skin adhesion these are categorized as face powder body powder and compacts the powder should have the following properties it must have good covering power so can hide skin blemishes it should adhere perfectly to the skin and not blow off easily it must have absorbent property it must have sufficient slip to enable the powder to spread on the skin by the puff The finish given to the skin must be preferably of a matte or peach like character. Types of the face powder. Face powder is available in two forms: pressed powder solid in compact powder and loose powder solds in small tubes. Loose powder particles are finer and tend to set makeup better than pressed powder. Finally milled texture means the powder is easier to layer loose powder is applied with a brush or a puff this make it less portable and more difficult to apply on the go pressed powder comes in cake form providing better and longer lasting coverage pressed powder is applied with a dense puff or puff or makeup sponge simplifying application whenever needed translucent powder is unpigmented sheer powder used mainly to control oily zones translucent powder can be pressed or loose tinted tinted powder is pigmented and is usually worn without foundation tinted powder can be pressed or loose powder ingredients used in face powder preparation and their purpose for covering purpose we uses titanium dioxide zinc oxide kaolin and zinc stearate for adhesion purpose magnesium stearate talc magnesium and calcium salts of pyristic acid for slip and softness we uses zinc and magnesium undecanate aluminum hydrosilicate for absorbency purpose we uses starch colloidal kaolin bentonite preti- precipitated chalk for peach like finish rice starch silica powdered silk for frosted look we uses guanine bismuth oxychloride mica zinc and alumina 
for color and perfumes we use is iron oxide and variety of the perfume as per the requirement functions of face powder there are different reasons for including face powders in one's makeup routine the type and brand of powder will depend on the desired cosmetic effect some face powders are formulated to address different conditions shine control typically loose and pressed powder is used to achieve a matte or velvet like finish minimizing shine and oiliness in the process loose powder is recommended for better shine control because the fine texture is more oil and moisture absorbent uv light protection the presence of zinc oxide or titanium dioxide will provide some uv protection however using a facial sunscreen under makeup is a better way to protect the face from harmful uv rays to improve the skin tone the right shade of face powder can brighten the skin or produce a flashy tint effect to cover up imperfection pressed powder provide better coverage for skin blemishes and imperfections as this type of powder clings to the skin and applications last longer to improve skin conditions most face powders are enriched with nutrient emollient peptides and antioxidants that rejuvenate the skin pressed face powders versus loose face powders face powder is among the most popular cosmetics in use because it can dramatically alter skin tone texture and condition it can be used as a finishing layer in makeup application or it can be applied directly on bare skin without a accompanying foundation layers however to test for suitability to skin tone we should determine whether skin type is dry oily or a combination of both skin type and complexion may vary with the seasons pressed powder is more suitable on dry skin while loose powder is the better option for oily skin because of its absorbency to test if face powder shades complements skin tone brush powder on the cheeks testing for the right shades on the back of the hands is faulty advice because this part tend to be many shades darker than the face pick the right powder for the season as the condition of facial skin often changes seasonally match face powder shade with the shade of the foundation being used after finding the right shade stock up on different types in this shades at the very last pick a set for day wear and a different set for evening activities loose powder is appropriate for daytime because it can be applied lightly it is also the better choice as a makeup finisher when one expect to be photographed loose powder has a more natural effect however pressed powder can be carried around for quick touch ups during the day it is also superior to loose powder when it comes to masking blemishes that said pressed powder is unforgiving when applied incorrectly it will emphasize fine lines as it tends to set into facial creases some face powder will change color after application if possible experiments with different shades to find the right shade makeup professional recommend using a combination of loose and pressed powder for a more flawless look face powder preparations include compact powder cake makeup makeup cream model 2 compact powder this comes in a small and easily transported compact with a powder puff and mirror it has been pressurized to form a hard cake of powder and has added oils to ensure the powder 
remains in this form for longer. It is an ideal product to use for minimizing shiny areas such as the oily T-zone but because it does contain a small amount of oil, it has to be applied more often than loose powder and may sometimes appear streaky. The ingredients of compact powder is loose powder with different types of binders. Dry binders like zinc and magnesium stearate, oily binder, those are water repellent like mineral oil, isopropyl maristate, lanolin derivatives. Water soluble binder, PVP, CMC, cellulose, acacia, tragacan. And emulsion binder like triethanolamine stearate, glycerol, monoesterate. The compact powders are prepared by mainly three methods. First, wet method. The water is used for preparation, wet mass. All basic ingredients are mixed with other ingredients like coloring agent and binding agent. The formulated paste are pressed into molds and slowly products are dried by air. This method is not widely used because product may cracks during preparation. Dry method. In this method, water should not be used. The all basic ingredients are mixed with binders compressed with special presses with the help of presser. This method is carried out under controlled condition. Damp method. This method is most widely used method for preparation of compact preparation. This mainly used for commercial purposes. The basic powder, color and perfumes are mixed in a proper manner. Then add liquid binder to the mixture. The liquid binder mainly aqueous, mucilages or mucine rich emulsion. Then it is properly blended until desired plasticity of product obtained. The obtained product passed through screen and then compressed by machine. Finally, the obtained product is dried at elevated temperature. The binders are play an important role in the preparation of compact powder. Module 3 Cake Makeup It is a dry powder which has been compressed into a cake. The pressure for compaction is very important. The powder must come off easily when rubbed with puff. This powder cake is specifically formulated materials that have high oil absorption properties. The theory behind this is that powder having such unusual absorption qualities will absorb excess facial oil and keep the face from developing a shine. Care should be taken in the choice of raw material that lend to this type of formulation since they may be more difficult to press. Ingredients used in the cake powder are dry binders, liquid binders, the evaluation is cake strength, bulk and tap densities of loose powders, compressibility and flow properties of powder, glazing and payoff of pressed powder. Module 4 Makeup Cream Makeup creams are of basically liquid and semi solid in nature. Liquid and semi solid makeup formulations are primarily emulsions in the form of lotions, creams, and mosses. They can be oil based, water based, oil free, or water free formulation. The main characteristics of these formulations are discussed here. Types of makeup creams oil based, water based, oil free and water free. Oil waste is water in oil emulsion containing suspended pigments. They also contain emollient, occlusive, water and emulsifiers and may include additional component such as vitamins, sunscreens and moisturizing agent. These foundations are easily to apply since the external face is the oil face and due to this the pigment can be spread over the face for up to 5 minutes prior to setting. Water evaporation from the foundation just after application leaves the pigments in the oil on the face. This creates a moist skin feel which is 
especially desirable in persons with a dry complexion. Oil based foundations do not shift color as they mix with sebum since the color is fully developed in the oily phase of the formulations. Their main disadvantage results from the type of the emulsion. They may feel greasy and heavy if not used by person with dry skin. Water based products are typically oil in water emulsion containing a small amount of oil in which pigments are suspended with a relatively large quantity of water usually 50 to 60 percent. These foundations are appropriate for minimally dry to normal skin since pigments are already developed in the oil. This foundation type is not subject to color drift either. The application time is shorter than that of oil based foundation due to the lower oil content. Oil free formulations typically do not contain animal, vegetable or mineral oils as their names implies. Instead of oils, they are generally based on silicons such as dimethicone or cyclomethicone. Thus, these products are water in silicon emulsions, water free that is anhydrous. Products offer water free properties. These consist of oils such as vegetable oil, hydrocarbons such as mineral oil, synthetic esters, silicons such as uh, dimethicone as well as waxes into which higher concentrations of pigments can be mixed. They are generally more opaque compared to the other types. Water free foundations and concealers are well suited for use in persons with facial scarring who desires camouflaging. The main disadvantage of this type of foundation is that it cannot be easily removed. The ingredients, the basic ingredients types for liquid and semi solid formulations are the same. The main difference between these products types is in the applied amount of ingredients. Liquid and semi solid foundations, blush and concealers all consist of powder dispersion and an emulsion base containing the rest of the ingredients. Fillers, pigments, emollients, water, emulsifier, thickening agent, preservatives, antioxidant, chelating agent, additional ingredients, fillers. Fillers is act as matting and texturizing agents and they are used to extend and fully develop colors. They can act as absorbent for sebum and sweat. So, as to make the skin velvety and fix the color of the skin and also contribute to the spreadability of the product. Examples include talc, magnesium stearate, starches, mica and bismuth oxychloride. Sometimes they are superseded by different varieties of silica, polymers such as nylon and teflon. Pigments, the same types of pigments are used as in facial powders including iron oxides, ultramarine, chrome hydrate and chrome oxide as well as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Blush formulas more likely contain pink purple or brown orange shades. Emollients serves as the oil phase in emulsions. They provide a slippery and soft texture and also have a moisturizing effect. Waxes function as a structuring and thickening agent as well as emulsifier in some formulations. Over the years, silicons have been introduced and they overtook the role of many conventional oils in facial foundations. As volatile silicons evaporate, the tinted film concentrates on the skin, adhering while drying on the skin surface. The tinted film withstands friction and does not stain cloths. These are the so called non transfer foundations. Examples of emollient used in liquid and semi solid facial makeup products include 
waxes such as beeswax, vegetables, oils, hydrocarbons such as mineral oil and eicosane synthetic esters of fatty alcohol and fatty acids such as isopropyl palmitate and glycyl stearate and silicones such as cyclomethicone, cyclopentasiloxane and dimethicone. Water is a basic component of water based emulsion serving as a vehicle. Emulsifiers It stabilizes the two immiscible parts of the formulation to prevent separation. Emulsifiers with low HLB value can also act as pigment. Wetting agents Example for emulsifier used in foundation and blushes include anionic emulsifiers such as stearic acid and non-ionic emulsifier such as propyl, ethylene, glycol, stearate, sorbitane, sesky, oleate, sorbitane, laureate and sorbitane 20 among others. Thickening agent increase the viscosity of the formulation. Pigments have to be uniformly suspended in the emulsion and should not sediment over the time and thickness contribute to this. Example include hectorite, cellulose derivatives, gums and acrylate copolymers. Oil phase thickeners are also used especially for water in oil emulsion. These include long chain wax esters, preservatives, water based emulsion have a high susceptibility for microbiological contamination. Thus, the application of preservatives is essential. Antioxidants prevent rancidity of the oily component. Chelating agent bind to metal ions and block the pro-oxidant action of metal ions. Example, iron oxides in suspension in addition to the traditional chelating agent, EDTA and its derivatives. Polyphosphonic acids have also shown the ability to improve dispersion and aid in pigment sweating. Additional ingredients can also be incorporated into foundations and blush for additional benefit, which can include anti-aging ingredients such as antioxidant, botanical extracts and proteins, sunscreens, fragrance and humectant. Since humectants are hygroscopic ingredients, they can control the rate of water evaporation from the skin's surface, letting the foundation shade onto the skin smoothly. Additionally, film formers may be necessary to provide adequate water resistance and long-lasting wear for formulation. Polyacrylate derivatives are often used due to their advantageous properties, example non-tacky and wear resistant, evolutions, spreadability, extrudability, texture, firmness of lotions, break strength, hardness, melting and softening points of sticks. Module 6 Conclusion The main objective of our study is to explain simple process of how to face powder and makeup care preparation and daily habit to take care of it. From above discussion, it is concluded that on combining these face powder were formulated with the naturally available ingredients like oats, sandal, grape, seed powder, almond powder, turmeric, tamarind, seeds powder, orange peel and camphor and we found good properties for the face packs and further evaluation studies are required on this study to find the useful benefits of face packs on human use as cosmetic purpose. LOR questions. Question number one. What are makeup creams? Makeup creams are of basically liquid and semi-solid in nature. Liquid and semi-solid makeup formulations are primarily emulsions in the form of lotions, creams and mosses. They can be oil based, water based, oil free or water free formulations. Question number two, why fillers are used in cosmetic preparations? Fillers 
act as matting and texturizing agents and they are used to extend and fully develop colors they can act as a absorbent for sebum and sweat so as to make the skin velvety and fix the color of the skin and also contribute to the spreadability of the product question number 3 what is the role of thickening agent in cosmetic thickening agents increases the viscosity of the formulations pigments have to be uniformly suspended in the emulsion and should not sediment over time and thickness contribute to this so student study hard and enhance your knowledge hope you enjoy this interaction about the face powder and makeup preparations all the best this is dr sarita saraf signing off if you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge you may log on to our website for mcq quizzes los our website is www.cc.nic.in till then keep studying goodbye